Hey guys, this is Chris with Delaware Paddle Sports and we're going to go over the 2017 Hobie Outback in camo. Uh, this is the Hobie Mirage 180. Uh, this is the MD drive. It goes in forwards and reverse. You just pull a tab and you're in reverse. Pull your forward tab and you're going in forward. So I wanted to show you the 2017 Hobie Outback with the MD-180 drive. Now you can check us out right online at DelawarePaddleSports.com or give us a call right here at the shop at 302-645-7300. Visit us right online and you'll also see our address right there so you can come down and visit us right here in Lewis. We have the 2017 Hobie Outback here in camo right on the showroom floor to show you. This kayak, uh, everybody is really excited about. We're getting a lot of calls about the camo, definitely. So the kayak is $2,649. And uh, you can visit us right here in the showroom and look over this whole thing of everything that we're gonna go through. Uh, basically, you know, they're gonna give you those nice, comfortable handles still uh, from the 2016 Outback. And you know, all of their Outbacks really with the handle being very comfortable. So that way you can uh, very, you know, manage this kayak. You can take it around, transport it very comfortably by utilizing some accessory items, which we have here in the shop. We have all kinds of Hobie accessory items. So, uh, you know, you could utilize a nice heavy duty plug-in cart with your kayak. And we'll go over some of the accessory items here in just a minute. So stepping back from the comfortable handle off the bow, uh, you're also going to get that front storage hatch. Sun does just like that, and then you get the nice gasketed area here to keep it waterproof. And then inside the kayak, you're also going to get your cassette that you can put right down inside the drive hole. So that way you can paddle it if you so choose. You can also take a nice hatch bucket and put a hatch bucket down inside there if you so choose. So many different accessory items that you can put on these kayaks, definitely. All right, coming back here, we also have the sail mast. So uh, you can put a sail on this. We do uh, carry all different types of Hobie sails that uh, matches up with this. For uh, the Outback, you know, all the uh, Hobie kayaks that have the foot propulsion. Also, you can put a uh, nice mast tube mount right inside there if you so choose so you can keep electronic items on there if you want or you can put a gopro camera on there so many different types of accessories you can put on these stepping back what everybody is excited about is the md 180 it's the mirage drive 180 click and go system easy to pull out comes right out of the kayak now with the camo outback uh, there's a couple accessory items that you're going to get with this. You're going to get the turbo fins. So this is the new MD-180 with the turbo fins. Flip it around. You have your two tabs. You have a forwards and a reverse tab. So it's easy to just pull that and it flips it right around. Pull it forward and then there you go. It drops right down inside the kayak. So with... The camo series 2017 you're going to get those turbo fins with that coming back from the mirage drive you're going to have your round hatch so i have a little storage round bin here so that way you can keep small items in now we do carry the square hatch item that you can put right inside the kayak uh, you can install it's very easy to do or we can install those so uh you can upgrade to a square hatch if you so choose just fastens right down 
locks down, it's completely watertight. You also get the matte mesh pockets. These are the hookless rubber pockets. Really nice to put store items right inside here. It's really cool. You're also going to get your fish finder. Uh, this is for the transducer on the bottom of the kayak. So this is going to hold your transducer uh, for your fish finder. And there's also going to be your grommets inside here for cable management. So that way you can run your cables really nicely inside the kayak, keep everything managed very well. And then also, of course, you're going to get the cable management uh, here that you're going to be able to utilize grommets on one side, also on the other, depending on which side you wanted to put your fish finder on, which is really nice. The tabs, just going back to those, right here where the round hatch is, they have included a little bungee that you can keep those tabs down, which is pretty cool. That also can be done with the square hatch as well. Coming back, they're also going to have the Vantage CT seating. Everybody remembers this seating from the 2016 series of Hobies. Well, they've included this Vantage CT seating on the Hobie Outback, which is really nice. Very comfortable seating. It basically goes in the low position just by pulling a tab. Drops right down. So the lower you are to the water, the more stable you're going to be. And you can do this all while you're out there on the kayak. If you want to go in the high position, you're just going to pull your tab, go in the higher position, take your kickstand, pick that up, and then it sets right down. Now you're in the high position, you have a little bit of bent knees, so it's going to be very, very comfortable for you. So that way you can adjust uh, your Mirage Drive to what you want to be at. So if you're a little bit of a longer individual, I have longer legs, you can adjust these tabs out so that way you can bring that out or you can bring it back depending on where you're at so very very nice feature now going over the camo outback it's also going to include the twist and stow rudder which is the sailing rudder it's the bigger rudder it's going to allow you to turn a lot more aggressively very sharp but you're also going to get the capabilities of going in reverse with the md 180 but you know, you're going to be able to pull that sailing rudder down very easily. And uh, basically, you can pull that right up when you're coming in shallow. Pull that right up. And then you're ready to take your kayak out or put it in, depending on how you want to do it. So, uh, you know, coming back, you're also going to get this large tank well area showing some accessory items that you can utilize is your cart very easy to put that right down inside the scupper holes drops right in take the cart right out with you very easy to pick the kayak up on its side take the cart put it right up underneath and then you can transport it just by carrying with your front handle very comfortable drops right down inside so back here in the tank well area there are some accessory items you can either put a nice big cooler back here if you so choose um, you'll get a nice H crate for tackle management. Keep your rods right in the four corners, and your tackle can be stored right inside the H crate. Very easy to get to. So, that's a nice accessory item that you can put on the back of this. Another thing that you can do is the Hobie Live Well is really nice drops right down inside the kayak got your three rod holders here nice open tank you can keep your live baits in and things of that nature now with the tank it does have uh, a pump on it that pulls the water and then also the water will go out in one scupper hole so when you want to do that you're going to have to line this up to those two scupper holes so you would have to take your cart back with you, put it back inside the car if you're going to utilize the fish uh, live well. But a lot of live baiters out there, and you do have the capabilities of doing that with the live well system. With the rudder right underneath, you're going to have a nice carry handle. And also you're going to have another round hatch in the back. You can keep gear down inside here, or you could actually for your fish finder if you want. Take this battery holder, 
and it drops right down in the back. And you can keep your battery right down inside there, close your hatch, and then you can do all your cable management within the kayak, which is really cool. So that's another accessory item you can get. So right back here on the rear hatch, you also have a shear pin here for you that you can put back here in the back rudder, just in case if you do happen to break that or hit something. It's located right here. It's really nice. There's all different types of items that you can take out with you. Different wrenches, different things. There's a uh, Mirage Drive kit. Of course, this would be for the other Mirage Drive, but I'm sure that they'll be coming out with some stuff for the MD-180 as well. So there's going to be a lot of things coming up with the new drive series. Um, rod holders. You have two recessed rod holders molded in. Flush mounts. So, you know, it's easy as just taking an accessory item like a rod holder. Slide that right down just like that. Boom, you're ready to go. Doing a little bit of trolling. There's all different types of accessory items. You can take this rod holder, slide it right in. It adjusts. So that way you can get a nice troll with it. And then there's a couple of straps that goes off of this to keep it nice and secure. Really nice item to have. So we're really excited about the 2017 Hobie Outback, especially in the camo series. By all means, give us a call here at the shop at 302-645-7300. Or visit us right here on DelawarePaddleSports.com. You can check out all the information right there. 33 inch wide. 12 foot, 1 inch long, 2017 Hobie Outback. Thanks so much. See you guys.